Hey everyone, before this video begins, I just wanted to thank each and every one of my subscribers and everyone else who helped support this channel. We love delivering creepy stories to you. And with that, stay spooky my friends, and enjoy the video. A month ago, my girlfriend and I got engaged. We moved into a new apartment and began living together. It was the first time either of us had shared an apartment, so it was a new experience for both of us. We were deeply in love. I knew she was the one I wanted to spend the rest of my life with, and I thought she felt the same about me. Everything was going well until two weeks ago when I noticed that my girlfriend was acting very strangely. She became so attached to me that it felt like she couldn't stand being away from me for one moment. One evening, she said to me, Darling, when you're not at home, I still feel you near me. I didn't attach much importance to these words. I thought that she was just being affectionate. However, a few days later, she told me something else. Whenever you're at work, she said, I often hear your voice, as if you are calling my name. And this began to happen more and more as the days went by, and I started to get a little worried about her. One day, when I arrived home from work, I found her sitting silently at the kitchen table, staring blankly at the wall with a glazed look in her eyes. I grabbed a chair, sat down beside her, and asked her what was the matter. I think there's something wrong with me, she murmured. Why do you think that? I asked. I saw you today, she said. You walked from the kitchen into the bedroom, and then you stood back to me, staring out the window. But I was at work all day, I said. I know, she replied with a heavy sigh. And that's when I began to really worry. I suspected that my girlfriend was losing her mind and starting to have hallucinations. Over the next few days, she kept telling me that she saw me in the apartment when I was at work. She could even describe exactly what I was wearing. My girlfriend was also acting more and more strange. She was getting quieter, and she was terrified of being left alone. Sometimes, she would just sit there, silently staring at me. Last night, my girlfriend was very tired and decided to go to bed early. I held her hand and sat on the edge of the bed as she was starting to fall asleep. Just before she nodded off, she said, you're not here. Honey, I'm right here, I replied. Don't worry, everything is fine. No, you're not here, she said. You're in the kitchen. And just then, I heard a dull noise coming from the kitchen. It sounded like a chair scraping across the floor. Then... I heard the sound of footsteps walking down the hallway. Fear gripped my heart. I did not know what to do. All of a sudden, the handle on the bedroom door began to turn, and the door slowly began to open. Maybe it's just a draft, I thought, as my eyes grew wide with fear. But it wasn't a draft. The door swung open and I saw a man standing there in the doorway. It was me. It's difficult to describe exactly what I saw. It was me. But at the same time, it wasn't me. It was as if I was staring at myself in the mirror. But the other me had cold, lifeless eyes. The other me looked at me for a moment, then turned and left, shutting the door behind him. It took me a moment to recover from the shock, and then I sprang off the bed and ran after him. The hallway was empty. I checked the kitchen, 
then the bathroom, but it was nowhere to be found. The other me simply vanished. It was terrifying. And then, as I stood in the hallway, trying to figure out what had just happened, trying to calm myself down and convince myself that it was just a hallucination, I heard a faint voice coming from the kitchen. It wasn't my voice. It was the voice of my girlfriend. We are here to stay, she said, forever. I realized that my girlfriend wasn't in the kitchen. She was lying in the bedroom, exactly where I had just left her seconds before. I was so frightened that I started to tremble like a leaf. I ran into the bedroom, grabbed my girlfriend, and dragged her with me out the front door. We left the apartment that very moment and spent the night in my parents' house. Tomorrow, we will go back to pick up our things. I still can't understand what happened in that apartment, but neither of us can bear to spend another night there. Hopefully, when we pick up our things, all will be well, and no one will be there. <laughs>